Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. I'm Alan Combs. Well, Sean may have been in enemy territory uh, this week in Boston, but he convinced one of his most outspoken critics, comedian and radio talk show host Janine Garofalo, to sit down with him. Oh, hello. Hello, How Sean. How are you? I'm very well. Thank All right, you, you. got to explain to our television audience yes. why you called me a cretin Absolutely. on your radio show. Yes. Why you question how any woman could ever be married to a guy like me? No, you keep, you keep getting that wrong. Uh, yeah, yes, your behavior is cretinous. Maybe you are not a cretin <laughs> per se, but your behavior, I'm so and I'm lucky. sure many people who view the show have seen it, yeah. can be cretinous, overbearing, blustering, mm. belligerent. And I said it's one thing to be that way, but to be the woman who is attracted to that is is enigmatic to me and I'll, I'll explain that and it's how probably well do you know me you you, you, well, you not, never listen not, to my radio show no no you I've never seen read you my on book the TV. how many times have you seen me on tv very many times very many. and i aggravate yeah. you yeah i do yeah, yeah. <laughs> i raise your blood pressure yes yes um but but i mean to question why one woman could be married do you think there are not two sides of people like a debate mode well i see that now but but i feel that your your on the field off the field persona I feel that your on-the-field persona, your mm. belligerent persona, is culturally mm. dangerous, as I've told you before. Yeah, but you know something? You now have done an hour radio with me. We're yes. beginning an interview here. Yes. Do you have a different perception? I was... I, I have know, a different you, perception. You, you're I had you're to taller promise, than I thought. That, but I, I told you I'd be nice to you, and I fulfilled my promise, right. haven't and, I? But isn't that interesting that you must preface... Uh, because you, must you preface wouldn't have come on I, if I didn't promise. Right, but don't you think... You were think, worried I wouldn't be. Right, right. Uh, clear. Then there's there's the rub, sir. But you were worried. I, I knew mm -hmm. I'd be nice to you. Even though we disagree, I'm nice to Alan. I have a lot of liberal friends. What people were watching our coverage with Lanny Davis last night and Mike Brown, they're liberals, but they're friends. What's of mine. wrong with having liberal friends? That's like I have a lot of friends, a lot of uh, uh, liberal friends. friends. You know, as if there is some deficit. No, but, of but you're the one that thinks that I can't be nice to liberals. Sometimes we have passionate debate. Mm -hmm. you, one of the things I see about you that I actually like, Janine Garofalo is a liberal. Let me, can I pull yes, something can. there? <laughs> it says right here. If we can get a liberal, shot of that, yeah. liberal. You are a passionate yes. liberal. You are real. You are committed. This is important to you. You study issues. I think you're wrong, but mm -hmm. but but you're no John Kerry. I knew, I knew the backhanded John no, Kerry slam was coming. No, you're no John. Here. Howard Dean is a committed liberal. Yeah. Al Sharpton is a committed liberal. John Kerry is a liberal. Twenty-year voting He's record. A that's liberal. John Number Kerry's one liberal in the I'm Senate. definitely to the Number left. One. No, he's not. And that's a nice trick that always gets thrown National out. National Journal. Yeah, I know that. Uh, and that seems to get trotted out for a lot of guys that are running for things. Number one liberal. Let me explain yes. to you why it would be good if he was the number one liberal, sir. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is a liberal Western democracy. This country was founded on the ideals of enlightened liberalism. Everything great that we have progressively in this country is because of liberal progressive forward motion. Desegregation, child labor laws, environmental protections, birth control, seat belts. Uh, no, no all of these things are no Civil liberal. Rights Bill, no Voting Rights Act, unless Lyndon Johnson, go back to the record, look at Lyndon mm -hmm. Johnson, he thanked the Republicans because right. people like Al Gore's that's father that's, that's were nowhere to be found. No, but the Republicans mm -hmm. supported it. No Republicans, no Civil Rights mm -hmm. Act. Uh, you know, look at, look at um, J. William Fulbright, known segregationist, Bill Clinton's mm -hmm. mentor in life. Uh, they're clearly a double standards. No, but no, wait, let me explain. As you know from your history, mm -hmm. the Republican Party has shifted over the years and now become the party with, that is not very nice uh, in racial Ball issues. Now, not, what do you mean not a very nice No, there's nice a moderate race? face to it. L listen, you know that there's what? a southern strategy that Republicans like to use, which is basically the cracker strategy. That what they do is they will, as you know, when, the, when there was Dixiecrats that split during the civil rights era, there were people that had problems with... Uh, uh, black civil Jeanine, rights issues, I, and they went over to the Republican Jeanine, you're Party. Miss, you're missing something. Bill Clinton's president, he didn't appoint a Secretary of State or National Security Advisor uh, as, as in top positions of his cabinet. Uh, the, the, it wasn't the Republican Party that had as their Senate leader for eight or ten years a former Klansman. That was your party. Uh, uh, there is the definitely Klans-like behavior. Robert Byrd, uh, Ro uh, you know that Strom Thurmond and Jesse Helms and Trent Lott have their the issues leaders. with race. And let's say this about Condoleezza Rice. It doesn't matter if she's black or white or male or female. The point, it doesn't matter what, what color she is, that you're saying that it's a, it's an obli it says something that that people thought she was the most competent person for the job, not because all she right, was. Let's move on. Because, all right. So you, you have you want to send a message to my wife? She should leave me. No, you know, no, 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 no. Gonna, all right. You you cannot stand the fact, in your view, that that word liberal is now used as a pejorative. Now yeah. here's my point. According to the National Journal, based on the voting records, and they examined the voting mm -hmm. records of every senator, they've determined in 2003 John Kerry had the most. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Most liberal voting record. John Kerry's doing everything he can do at this convention to appear not to be a liberal. And my question to you is, 
you want to be a proud liberal. Mm -hmm. Why won't John Kerry do the well, same thing? Well, second thing, as you know, if you consult other journals and stats, he's not the most liberal. And you know that the word liberal, he's the left of Kennedy. It's so stupid. Is it but, true? But uh, to the left of Kennedy. According uh, to the National Journal, they're, they're fairly, they're nonpartisan. Well, there's other, other stats that Which say one? he's not the What's number that? one liberal. I, I can't remember right now. Okay. But. As you know, if he was number one liberal, I would think that was a great thing. I know you would. Um, John Kerry is much more moderate than me. He doesn't have to be like me. Mm. Why, so why, why, I don't understand what you're asking no, me No, I do. mean, but I, but he is, he is close to you. But you know something, I don't think, I think the only reason he moved left on the war, for example, is because you were supporting Howard Dean at the time. Yeah. Is because Howard Dean was getting all that traction with the mm -hmm. anti-war crowd in America, mm -hmm. led by people like you. Yeah. And I think he artificially manufactured a more anti-war position, not out of core conviction, not out of core conviction, uh -huh. but out of political expediency and a desire for blind ambition. Am I wrong? Well, I would say most politicians suffer from that on John both Kerry? sides of the aisle. No, but I would say there's nothing wrong with having an educable mind, Sean. Can, oh, he was can educated people, into that No, position? but why can't people change their minds over, over the years? He, why why as you see that Iraq is, is disintegrating? And it's a disaster. It is an unmitigated disaster. Yesterday was one of the bloodiest but did he, days but he in changed, Iraq. Did why? he change because it was the right thing to do, or did he change because he'll say anything to get elected? I no, have, I have a poll here. No, he changed because it was the right thing to do. For 49% of, of the people of Massachusetts say Kerry um, believes he'll say what people want to hear rather than what he believes. Your source is Wait what? Newsmax.com? No, AB, ABC Washington Post. Uh -huh. ABC Washington Post. Uh, the ABC poll and the internals uh -huh. also said 64% see Bush consistent on issues, only 24% think Kerry is consistent what on issues. Heck, what do I care about those polls? ABC, people ABC, people ABC are Washington frequently Post. wrong because the news doesn't do their job. 70% of people thought Saddam had something to do with 9-11. That's because the news doesn't do its job. I, I think it is beyond the pale that former Vice President Gore said George Bush, at the top of his lungs, screaming George Bush betrayed America. When I said that to you yesterday, you said George Bush betrayed his yes, country. Yes, I did, and Al Gore was Hang right, on. and he wasn't screaming. Howard at Dean, lungs. on top of his lungs, I'll run the tape. No, I know, I was there. Howard I Dean <laughs> advanced the theory that George Bush knew about 9 11 ahead of time. Mm -hmm. in, in, in rhetoric he's used. Dennis Kucinich said, We're targeting civilians for assassination. Ted Kennedy uh -huh. said he concocted the war in, in Texas. Why can't you as a liberal say, look, we can have honest political disagreement about the war, about the president, about the future of this country, but not say that a former vice president at a time of war saying that is out of control and you repeating it. Oh, it's not, it's not out of control at all. It's very accurate. First of all, as you know, during the Clinton bashing years, you said uh, many immoderate things during, Wonderful. Times, uh, during I said Operation <laughs> Desert Fox in Bosnia and Kosovo, and you know that. And there's also a book called Take Them at Their Words where you're quoted in it. Beyond that, everything, these, uh, 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 <laughs> everything that these gentlemen have said is absolutely correct. I agree with that. I believe that George Bush betrayed this country. I believe that betrayed there, I, this I, country. I, yes, I do. I think that the uh, CIA lied. was compromised. They were repeatedly tasked to come up with a result that mirrored what the neocon plan was. It's not what the commission report so, said. Yeah, just well, the opposite. The it said just the opposite, and it was a unanimous report. The rest they said of there was the commission no report evidence will be released any, after, wait a minute, after they, the but, election. Wait a minute, but they addressed this issue. They mm -hmm. said there was no pressure brought to bear on the agency. No That's evidence. Not true. Wait, listen, Janine, there are, there are I read, plenty of I read CIA, the document. Did you read the book? I read the document. No, yeah. I'm reading this. I'm talking about the 9/11 commission report. Said specifically. There is no evidence that there was any pressure. Yeah, that's to a bear nice. It's a nice whitewash. Pad. Yeah, it's a good whitewash so, report. I mean, it is. Richard it is. There was. Yeah, there, Richard Benvenista is a, a good, a good pit a bull big on liberal. that. As a, yes, well, that's, it's a, a thing to be proud of, Sean. Liberal is not a pejorative. But be, beyond that, yes, the CIA was pressured. CIA operatives themselves have gone on news programs and said they were pressured. You know that it's true. The Defense Policy Board created to do such a thing. They were repeatedly tasked At to come up with a result. The 9-11 Commission said no in uh, all and, its and detail. A lot of, and a lot of commissions say a lot of things right. within the strictures of government. They were. Uh, the the, the uh, information was hyped. It was misleading. Saddam was never an imminent threat. Saddam uh, was never a liar. Here's my next question. You. And you think the president's a liar? Yes, you I do. You think he betrayed his country? Yes. Lied about weapons of mass destruction? Yes. Okay. And you're supporting John Kerry for president? Yes. And John Kerry's a senator a who didn't leave. No, John Kerry's a senator who was second. given bad intel. It is not the senator from Massachusetts. Is John job. Kerry? Wait a minute. John Kerry, we who was on the Intelligence show. Committee in, mm -hmm. in earlier years. Yes. John Kerry now admits he didn't read the report leading up to the decision to vote for the author. Yeah, none of them were given time Wait to read the report. John Kerry, in 2003, leading up to the war, said all the following things. Let me read them to you. For our no, audience, we for, read them yesterday. For the benefit of our audience. Let this me read is it bad to intel you. given to him by the administration. John Kerry, quote, 
Yes. Saddam's WMDs are a threat. That's why yes. I voted to hold them accountable. We need to disarm him. Uh -huh. Leaving Saddam unfettered with yes. nuclear weapons or WMDs is unacceptable. Yes. If you don't believe Saddam's a threat with nuclear weapons, don't vote for me. We need to disarm him, a murderous dictator leading an oppressive regime. And one final, John Kerry, Iraq's WMDs pose a real and grave threat to the right. USA. And that is Here's from the question. compromise report, and he voted to authorize the use of force if certain criteria it. were met. Here's my question. Mm -hmm. You call the president a betrayer. Yes. You say he's a liar. Yes. And yet you're voting for a guy who said the exact same things. Why should we not think you're being just totally political and hypocritical? Well, then why shouldn't we say that you would call Bush a liar? If you're because I think John Kerry's, Kerry's right. A liar. No, no, I think no Kerry... you don't. First of no, all, no, listen to me. me. I think John mm -hmm. Kerry was right. Mm -hmm. I think John Edwards. I have a quote from John Edwards. You want me to read that? You don't need to. Let me. Uh, and that's what I'm saying is, is it's not the senator from Massachusetts' job to come up with the intel. All the Congress was given bad intel from the compromised CIA. Then they voted for the use of force if certain criteria were met. As you know, that criteria was not met. The criteria was to prove that all diplomatic avenues have been exhausted and the inspectors had been allowed to do their job. They weren't. They were pulled out for bombing to begin. Secondly, it would had to be proven that Saddam was an imminent, imminent threat and that he was related to 9-11. It I was said. never proven. All this right. was a scam and a sham. It's like the Gulf of Tonkin resolution. You know, I.F. Stone famously said all governments lie. Uh, and at times they do. Does John Kerry lie? Uh, does John Kerry lie? As a politician, he has probably on occasion misled Did, people. If you call President Bush a liar for saying the same mm -hmm. things John Kerry's lying, why won't you have the intellectual honesty to say, yeah, John Kerry lied about that also? No. John Kerry was given bad intel. Yeah. And but, but George Bush, you won't give him that George slack. George Bush was in on the manipulation of intel. But the 9-11 Commission said just the opposite. That's not really true, Sean, and it's also not finished. It, first of all, the 9-11 Commission, it, Commission second I'll show half, you the quotes. Do you the want to bet? Wait, the compromise for 9-11 Commission to move forward, which, as you know, Bush stonewalled with every ounce of his of his fortitude. Because he knew it'd be politicized. No, it's because he doesn't want information. This is the most secretive government since Nixon. John Dean wrote the book Worse Than Watergate mm -hmm. for a reason. I don't, I'm not calling anybody or suggesting anybody's unpatriotic. I don't believe in that. Yeah, you um, do. Although I think certain people say unpatriotic things at uh -huh. times, and you have to question them. Question, yeah, you have you to do, question you, them. You've done that I have. Too. Yeah. When I, in isolate into as a general, broad, sweeping generalization, uh -huh. I, I believe in debate. I make my living on the First Amendment. Uh -huh. Here's America. I don't think we're ever going to be a perfect country. Human beings aren't perfect, we're imperfect. Right. Um, but when I look at America, I see this is the country that has beat back the forces of fascism, mm -hmm. the forces of imperial Japan, Nazism, and totalitarianism. Mm -hmm. While imperfect, we have been a force for good and liberty and freedom in the world, and I'm proud of our country for what we represent. Do you feel the same way on those issues? I see everything you see, and I'm also emotionally mature enough to see uh, the overthrow of Allende. I'm also mature enough to see Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala. I'm mature enough to see the slaughter of the indigenous people, uh, the, the, the American Indian slave owners. I can see what uh, Vietnam has done. Uh, I think I said that at the beginning. Is America, a great, is America a good country in your estimation? It's a good, yeah, it's a good country. Is it country. a great country? It's a great country sometimes when it lives up to its ideals. Is it's it, the, it's not it the now? land I have a problem with. It's the men and women who no. make bad decisions I in government I understand, but at different sometimes. points in history does. But I mean, when you look at America overall, mm -hmm. do you think we are a great people that have done great things in the world? We have been a force for good. Some are and Most, some aren't. But no, have some we generally aren't, so, been, No, I can't. I you cannot. can't say we're generally a force for I good? Would say that we have at times been a force for good and in many situations for other people around the world we have what hurt them the, very much. What would the world look like if America didn't beat back the forces of, of fascism, Nazism, and Imperial Japan, and totalitarianism? I don't know. What would it look like if Pol Pot never had the killing fields in Vietnam and never happened? What would it look like if Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Guatemala never happened? What would it look like if... Uh, it, it, seriously, Sean, uh, you, and I have you two don't very have distinct to, views as I said on earlier, history. Why don't you don't have to Would turn like in to your, no you don't have to turn in your pin by discussing history. It's okay I to criticize. History. Like for example, I think it was a good thing, even though mm -hmm. we know the, what happened. Twenty plus million people killed under Stalin, communist mm -hmm. Russia. We know the brainwashing and mind numbing mm -hmm. techniques they'd use against individuals and how they robbed them of their souls. Mm -hmm. But yet we aligned with them an unholy alliance for the time being to beat back Nazism. Mm -hmm. In the Iran-Iraq war, which is often cited by the left, yes, we did support Saddam Hussein for a time, knowing he was imperfect. And we supported to, to him beat for back, too long, and also to the beat CIA back the forces, helped bring Saddam, on, the Bathurst to power To beat back the forces and not have a winner uh -huh. in that conflict, which is when mm -hmm. we got the result we wanted. It's, an, it's, it's mm -hmm. not so simple. I know, so don't say it as if I it is. I didn't say it was. In 1963, as you know, with the help of the CIA-backed coup, mm -hmm. the Bathurst came to power. Right. And, and, and uh, he was supported 
and he should never have been in the same Iran 1979 revolution. Sean, you, mm -hmm. you know that America and other nations do this too. It's not wrong to, to criticize. I would hate to think of the. Do. I hate to think of what this world would look like, Jimmy mm -hmm. Garofalo, if it weren't for America. If it weren't for America mm -hmm. shedding blood at, at, and uh, all around the earth, earth for liberty and the cause of freedom. Right. I'd like to think what Europe would look like if it weren't for us. Yes, and, and I'd I like see to America see America. As America as a, but I don't think you see ideals. it that way. No, Sean. I think America does live up to its ideals. No, we are always. a great country. Why don't you say we're a great country? Uh, it is a great country when it does great things. But it is, is it not a great, great country things now? in Iraq. No. In the 80s, did Absolutely it do great not. things? In, in, Only in the in, 90s in the when 80s, Bill Clinton? No, it did not. Under When's the Reagan. last time we've been a great country? When it does great things. Why when? can't you be an adult when, about well, this? I'm an adult. When were mm -hmm. we a great country? When were we last a great there country? Is, in the 70s? In the 60s? No, the, it's 50s? intermittent. It's not a blanket statement. Well, tell me when. In the, when it does good things. When, when's the last time we've done good things? In I'm the sure there's good things going on now, and but there's also bad things going on. Why can't you admit we that? We liberated 50 million people between Iraq oh, and Afghanistan. For crying 50 out million people. Yes. Women can go to school. Women Afghanistan can take off their Afghanistan is a birthdays. failure, sir. It's carved up by warlords. Women are 90%. than they've ever they been. They are there. not. Please, you, why did you get into journalism? The do torture you not, do you chambers not, have been closed. The, the, we're not filling the, the mass graves anymore. Hamid Karzai cannot travel Can anywhere without no, without any bodyguards. Neither you know that Afghanistan. The United States. Uh, he's going to be. He, the assassination attempts on his life are constant. Afghanistan is a failure right now, and as you know, it's a bigger failure because the resources were taken out of Afghanistan. Are we to better go off that Saddam is out of power? No. No. We are worse off. No, Saddam being in power. People is of Iraq are, are better off Absolutely with Saddam not. in power. Iraq is as bad off today as it was with Did Saddam Did you ever see power. the pictures of the mass graves? Yes, sir. And, and we were. Don't and why don't you think, sir? Now. And we have a lot to do with the mass graves. <laughs> we have a lot we're to do with the uprising well, that, that was George, Bush, George Bush urged an uprising, as you know. There was an no. uprising, and the Americans abandoned them. People will admit this, Sean. You don't have to turn in your pen. I interviewed a guy the other day who was left for dead in one of the mass uh -huh. graves. And 180,000 right. people in that village Boy, were slaughtered. Boy, we shouldn't have supported Saddam in the first place, then. He's a bad um, guy. All right. Now He's listen. a really bad guy. We shouldn't have supported him. Now that you've had an hour and, and a half... And Iraq is a mess. You should read the paper. I disagree with you. Now that we've had... Well, thank God Why John Kerry voted for journalism? it, but then wouldn't fund it. Uh, yes, and... So and, I could debate wonderful yeah. people like you. Yeah. All right, so has your impression of me changed? Have I been uh, fair to off, you? Off camera, What about on camera? Have I been no, fair? I have no. not been fair to you? No, it's not, not fairness. You asked. Well, you were you concerned asked, if I was going to be fair. Was I fair on the interview? Oh, I don't know if it's considered fair to ask questions the way you do. You don't, you don't really ask questions. You, you, everything is a... <laughs> but you do me. You got to ask me questions. Everything's a you-know-what. Like a, like, a, like a challenge or it sounds like a threat. We're like, debate. This is a debate show. Oh, no, show. it isn't. Oh, yeah, it is, No, actually. it isn't a debate show. What is it's it? a you tell people uh, what, what, you what you think and why you think that they're wrong, or you play gotcha with them. You do your Nexus search or your Google search. Hey, hey.